Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, welcome to Big Mech's workshop and paint studio. I'm Dodge and today we're going to be painting the Greater Possessed in the colour scheme of the Emperor's Children. Um, did you enjoy painting this model? And um, before we get too far into the video, I do apologise if my throat sounds all raspy. Uh, I've had a bad chest for the past week or so, I'm waiting for that to go away, but wanted to get this audio finished. So the first colour we've started here with, we've done Black Primer by Vallejo and then we're adding Screamer Pink on there. You don't need to be too neat. As uh, you'll have to black out most of that anyway, as uh, I'm going to stick with doing it black rather than a gold trim. Next, we're going to add some Emperor's Children into the Screamer Pink. Both games workshop colours, uh, if I haven't already stated that, but we do have these lower thirds now at the top, letting you know the brand and name, so that helps out a lot. And you can see, I'm just glazing down there. Uh, this seemed to be the best way to do this particular video the back was just easier to do that claw kept putting the uh, camera out of focus so it was easier to do it this way next I'm going to mix null oil into Drushi Violet and give the whole thing a wash uh, the reason for that is I find Drushi Violet is quite a vibrant purple and I like to tone it down a little bit it's a bit too it's more cartoony I want something a bit more grimy and real before we get too settled into the video yes it's a plug by one of our local game shops, Composite Games. They offer 15 to 25 percent off. Website address is in the description, and if you follow that link and use the code Big Max Army on checkout, you get an extra five percent off. So that's 25 percent off all your hobby supplies. Go check them out, and you can also buy our products on that shop as well. Let's keep the plug short and sweet. Go check those out, and let's get straight back into the video. Next, we're going to start picking out all the skin with model colour German Grey, which is very quickly becoming one of my favourite colours at the moment. Started using it as much as I do for Rakarth Flesh, and you'll see why later on. As uh, you'll see the model progress, but all I'm doing is adding other colours into the German Grey to get a darker mix. For the next layer, all I'm going to do now is start adding Demon It Hide by Games Workshop into the German Grey, a small amount at a time. Then we're going to start bring up, bringing up those muscles and um, top areas. And you get quite a, quite a decent effect just by mixing colours into this. Don't need to do the inside of that claw because uh, I decided to go for something more fleshy with it and make it look a bit more pink and a bit more soft. Next, after that, I'm going back to the Empress Children. And start bringing out the highlights again and the work towards the edges of all the armour plating. And you can see that uh, the colour contrast between the pinks and the bluey greys seem to work really well for this. It's not the greatest of paint jobs as I uh, did sort of rush the base layers. Like I said, uh, I've not been too um, well at the moment, so I'm just trying to get through these for you. Now I'm going back to the German grey, but I'm going to add even more demonet hide in there. Don't want to overdo it with the demon at hide. Um, we don't want it to go too purple. We're just using it to adjust the color ever so slightly, so we can use, so we can highlight it with itself. You could do this with any color just by adding anything into light and it up. Next up, we're going to use model color flat earth, which is quite a yellowish brown. It does give a, a decent amount of coverage. I'm going to start picking out the eyeballs. I think I do every single, anything that looks like an eyeball is going to get a layer of this colour. And the reason we've gone for the yellow eyes and sort of yellow orangey when they're done is just to add the contrast between the other bright colours that we've got there. Next I'm going to add Games Workshop Steel Legion Drab into German Grey by Model Colour. And I was really happy with the way these horns and parts came out. I don't do all the teeth in these colours, I specifically went for doing all the horns in these colours because teeth on here are much smaller um, and there's a bunch of them so I just did a, a quicker and easier scheme for those. Next we're going to start highlighting that by adding Bane Blade Brown into the same mix. And because there, was, uh, there are hints of all the other colours that are on the palette in everything it really helps bring the model together and keep all the tones right where you need them gives everything a much more natural look so yeah there's lots of mixing in this video 
Um, even though it's short, that's how I got most of the results, was just mixing these paints together. Next up, it's German Grey again with Diminet Hyde, but this time we're going to add in some Games Workshop Tusker Fur. And that's just to change the tone of uh, the skin there, but also keep those similar tones for the rest of the arm. I will sort of blend this uh, around the wrist area as well, so it doesn't just stop there. And when we add washers later, it'll make it look really natural, so it goes from that blue to that soft pink look. Also, I'm going to use this same colour scheme that I'm using on the inside of the claw for all the other holes and other fleshy parts where the armour is missing. Next, it's German Grey plus Steel Legion Drab plus Carrick Stone. And we're going to go back over all the horns again and start bringing those up. I uh, really did like the colour for this. It's sort of, it was like a dirty bone. But because we use the same German grey as the base, it helps the horns look like they're actually going to blend from the flesh outwards. So it makes them look a little bit more natural than just going and painting them a completely different colour to the rest of the model. Now when it came to the uh, loincloth, or whatever this is, decided to go for a skin tone, um, since he's a... Uh, uh, possessed and I didn't think I wanted to use any other browns on there as I was using quite a lot and this is model colors red leather Next we're still going to use model colors red leather, but now we're going to add a bit of games workshops KDM flesh tone to it I may end up mixing more and more of my paints uh, in more of my tutorials. I, I prefer the result of that So let us know what you guys think next up it's just Cadian Flesh Tone on its own. As you can see, I've said in a few of the other videos I've done recently as well, mixing your paints is really useful. You don't have to be a great glazer or blender. If you just mix your paints, it just helps everything transition a little bit easier. Next up, Juicy Violet, but we're going to mix that with Reclam Flesh Shade. Because like I said, I don't ever really use Drushy Violet on its own. Uh, I like to mix it because I do like the purple hue that it offers but it's it's just a bit too purple for me. Next I'm going to go back to the armour bring up some more of the uh, edges and the brightness on those. We're going to add Game Air Squid Pink into the Emperor's Children. And squid Pink is quite a flat bright pink it's bright like the rest of it, but it's not got as much colour saturation in there. So uh, it's one to have if you're going to have Emperor's Children, definitely. You could always stop at that point and use it as the edge highlights. Next up, we're going to use Scale 75's Resurrection Flesh. Which is a just regular brightish highlight for flesh. And we're going to put that in the uh, parts of the claw. And uh, those eyes on there as well, I started picking out the eyelids and uh, don't really need to do much with this. I started picking out also the mouth around the hand as well. And as you can see at this point in the video, the model's already starting to get somewhere. And uh, yeah, we've not really used that much in the way of paints, so we've just been mixing them. Next, to do the teeth, I decided just go straight Bane Blade Brown. It gave a uh, decent coverage on all the teeth and it, you know, was just a lot easier to do it that way rather than mix all those same colours. And also when we're finished, these teeth are actually going to look different to everything else. Because there's a lot of them, uh, there's a lot of horns, you don't want them all the same colour. You want to break that model up. And for any of the metallic parts that are hidden around, there are a few parts where there'd be uh, metals showing, a couple of pipes here and there. So we're going to use Scale 75's Black Metal. And um, as always, I didn't actually do much more with the Black Metal, as there wasn't really that much need, because I know I was going to do a pin wash with the oils, and that was going to get into all those gaps and uh, add the depth that was needed there. Next up, we're going to start edge highlighting all the trim, which has been blacked out again just to neaten things up, but I did that off camera, and this is Games Workshop's Eschen Grey. Don't really need to say too much about this one, just be, be careful. Um, this model, I will say, is an absolute pain to edge highlight and glaze because of all the parts that are sticking out of it. Um, 
you can't really get a decent brush stroke where you want because you're always banging your brush either against a claw or a horn or something along those lines. Next, I'm going to use Null Oil and Drusha Violet again. And this is where I start toning all those, uh, all those bits together around the claw. And if I do remember correctly, I cover all the Bane Blade brown teeth with this as well, just to darken them down a little bit. And also, the Drusha Violet then adds a little bit more colour to them. Uh, but most of the teeth are pretty much in the fleshy areas anyway, so it just means you don't have to be neat while doing this. Next, I'm going to go and finish off some of those edges with Games Workshop's Dawnstone. Now, when doing black edges and trim, I should have said this during the Ash and Grey one, if you muck up, that's fine, as long as you keep it on the bit that's supposed to be black. And what you do is you do both sides, and it's going to be easier to just then get your original black and just glide down the middle of it with your paintbrush and straighten it'll straighten up both edges uh, in one sitting so that's a decent time saver so you could technically have just painted it uh, the eschen grey and then gone through the middle of it all with black next up a colour I don't use very often this is Squig Orange by Games Workshop I have uh, watered this down quite a lot as I really just want it around the outside of the eye so it's, it's almost a wash consistency. I'm going to take a few layers there and put those in. But I thought the eyes, they weren't sticking out of the model enough, so need a little bit of something extra. Next, going back to the model colour, Flat Earth, which was the base for this, I'm going to start picking out the middle of all those eyes. Obviously, you want to be careful you don't hit anything here that you were... Don't want to, you don't want to pull your brush away and put a yellow mark on anything. And next, we're going back to the German grey again, but I'm going to add Landanius grey by scale 75. And that's just to go over the uh, edges and start picking out some more highlights on that skin. And as you can see, I'm pretty much using it as a uh, edge highlight for most of this, and then picking out his furrowed brow and the bits on the knuckles on his hands because. That claw actually looks pretty decent and is well sculpted, so I wanted to bring that out. Next up, we're going to use Games Workshop's Reclam Flesh Shade. I'm just going to put that over the eyes. Be very careful not to flood this, as the eye, eye holes are actually small, or the eyeballs are small, I should say, and uh, you don't want this running off down your pink armour. It's also going to warm those eyes up a little bit. And I'll bring them into the rest of the model as they're now yellowy orange. Next up, we're going back. Oh no, we're not going back to flat earth. This is model color flat yellow, which is actually a quite a um, pale yellow. So it gives it that brightness, but the saturation is low. So it's going to work well for this highlight. Next up, we're going to go back to those teeth with a very small amount of Games Workshop's Bane Blade Brown, remembering that we've already done the wash there to add a little bit more colour to them. And uh, because they're so small, they should be quite quick and easy after they've had a wash. Next up, Scale 75's Resurrection Flesh. Just using that to start bringing out that loincloth and making it look a bit more alive. Andy made the point that um, it still looks. No, in fact, he made the point that it still looks too much alive with too much colour, so I decided to make it a little bit more pale, um, like there's no blood flow left in it and it's just a ragged piece of human flesh. Next, we're just going to finish off a whole bunch of these highlights now by adding Rakoth flesh into things. So we're going to add. Rakoth Flesh into Game Air Squid Pink. At this point, these are simply just edge highlights. Just following around all those edges, going around tops of the um, shoulder pads. Just the regular places where you need that little bit of extra lightness. Next, we're going to add Rakoth Flesh into the German Grey. There's a very, very small amount of German grey in this. It's mainly Rakoth flesh. But um, as you can see, that works there as a highlight for this. Just toning everything with the previous colours that it's had. So um, something I might play around with more in other tutorials. 
although I don't think this is my best paint job I did enjoy the um, playing around with these colors next I'm going to use Bane Blade Brown and rack off flesh and that's just to pick the very tips of those teeth out again so they'll look simi similar to the bones but it's just going to break them up enough and they didn't have as many layers as everything else did I don't think and the application was easier so it's going to be a time saver I do actually have a set of 15 converted possessed that need to be painted up to go along with this guy at some point well, I'll probably just use the airbrush for those. Next up, this is Scale 75's Harvester Flesh. And that's just a, a final highlight on that loincloth that he's got there. And after that, all I really have to do is uh, give him a gloss varnish, give him a pin wash with some oil paint to uh, sharpen up all those dark recesses. Then we're going to give him a mat and stick him on the Lazy Susan. And there we have him. One greater possessed of the Emperor's children. Nice bright pinks. Interesting contrast with the skin tones. So I did kind of enjoy this one. I was looking forward to playing with this model. Uh, so I do hope you guys like this as we've now reached the end of the video. Um, if you do like it, obviously hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit subscribe because we've got tons more videos on this channel. And uh, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, uh, you want to help out the channel, there's always Patreon and all our other links for eBay store and all over social media, obviously in the description. So that is all from us. We do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we do hope you like it. So don't forget to hit like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And thanks for watching guys. I shall catch you in the next one.